10 people already. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Conversation's been going. I had to. Has it really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oop, the countdown started. It hit. Oh, you're started. <laughs> oh, here we are. Okay. Let's. Okay. It's pretty live, I would say. All right. Well, um, we are f- officially here now. I'm going to look over and see who all's in here. Maybe do a little shout out to everybody that's been in here. Uh, let's see. Way back, I don't know how many hours ago, but Toby was in here. Uh, then you have Andreas, Tripper43, Cliff, say Charles. We have Troy in here, T Man26, Sebastian. Uh, let's see. I got some other guys in here. DR Press. Oh, thanks. Uh, Okay, well, we've got a lot of people in here so far. I see Slot Receiver HD, Presley's in here, Krista General, Carlos, uh, GCTV's in here, Mir. Uh, I think that's everybody I've seen thus far. Cliff, I think that's, um, what is it? Oh, yes, we need the light. I think we can just put it up here and it'll be fine. That's what I always do. All right, how's that look? Okay. Well, um, I just want to welcome everybody in here tonight to uh, this Mr. Football uh, live stream giveaway. We've got a uh, giveaway item here tonight uh, that we're going to be uh, talking about here shortly. Hopefully everything on my end sounds pretty good. Uh, You know, we're going to kind of get rolling here uh, tonight Um, and go through everything here tonight uh, as far as like uh, everything how we'll do this um, the giveaway stuff you're going to have to find on Twitter so the first thing that you guys should do uh, really before we get anything um, too far into this tonight now that we have 13 people in here that we since we've started streaming everybody needs to go make sure you're following my, following me on Twitter okay and that's Mr. Football uh, coach on Twitter, uh, the handle to that uh, simply is just uh, Mr. as an MRFB coach, and you'll find me there. Uh, we've got that linked. Um, yeah, if you notice in the live chat, you want to have your live chat uh, turned on, and you need to make sure that you're kind of paying attention to Nightbot. Nightbot will po- post in here. Um, quite a bit, um, and you can see right there that it will uh, give you a, you know, a link to Twitter, uh, and that's where we're going to essentially get um, everything done here tonight on Twitter. A giveaway winner will be selected on Twitter, so the reason we have you go to Twitter and make sure you follow me is just for that purpose. Uh, should be the first tweet that you see um, on there. Um, Discord is also a great place for you to go um, if you want to, you know, pretty much have an open forum chat uh, all the time. Just like if any of y'all use Discord, I know a lot of the guys that are in here right now. Um, the ones that we especially uh, talk about, um, you know, we go through a lot with uh, a lot of the guys in here tonight. Um, I mean, we've talked on Discord pretty much all week. Um, and I kind of give them a lot of hints and stuff. So, uh, you know, I kind of I kind of basically give a lot more to Discord than any other thing. Um, and so there's a, there's a lot of things in here. So um, I'm just going to kind of look through here. I've seen some names I've not seen in a long time, like Kevin, uh, who I don't know where he's been, but he's finally back. Um, we've got Bryant Garcia in here, AJ. See some guys in here that, um, you know, not seen in a while. So we're glad that we're seeing some different people come back in here. Uh, it's an exciting time for our channel. We're just doing a while. We're just doing a lot of things in here. We've got videos coming out two times a week. 
Um, you know, we're, we're doing a giveaway tonight, but there's also a giveaway that's going to be posted on the YouTube channel um, on Tuesday. And so Tuesday's video is going to uh, pretty much have that information on how to win that. It's a one-week giveaway. I won't spoil anything right now as far as what we're giving away. It's nothing too crazy, just to kind of give you that for now. Um, but what we're doing is, you know, we're going to be essentially going through um, and taking your YouTube comments and stuff and, and doing a giveaway like that. And so not only will we do live stream giveaways like we normally do um, and so forth, but we will, uh, you know, do that from time to time. Um, and then we'll also do some video ones. Um, I'm going to go through questions as uh, my moderator, my wife, um, goes through and posts everything. If you see Mr. Football, just know that that's uh, my wife in here. She's monitoring uh, the chats and so forth. Um, I saw that question from Ricky I was going to answer. Uh, this wasn't a, a playbook uh, giveaway, but I, I actually don't. We were actually just talking about uh, you know, doing some stuff with playbooks and stuff and, and, and where you can find some information on that is my Patreon. My Patreon just hasn't been updated with that information, but I'm working on doing playbooks and so forth and, and doing more, uh, coaching related things as well. So there's some other things that we're uh, kind of looking at. So that's, that's kind of how it goes. So, um, I'm going to try to kind of go through, and uh, so we're, uh, you know, I'm just going to say this to the people we have in here now. Um, we're, we're watching the lot. We're watching uh, the chat. So just know that what you say in the chat could end up hurting your chances for the giveaway. Uh, meaning if you're timed out um, because you know, if you say something, you know, you're going to get timed out anyway. Something bad, something negative, something, uh, you know, inappropriate language is like the easiest way to get banned really quick. Uh, it essentially puts you in timeout uh, like you're a child. And so what that's going to do essentially kicks you out for several minutes and you get to go back in if you've learned your lesson. Or if it's bad enough, you know, we'll just, you know, kick you permanently, uh, which, you know, we, we do that. Krista General asks, can we get another live stream day? No giveaways, just chatting. Um, you know, I thought about that and to me, I really enjoy doing the just chatting live streams more than I do the giveaways. And that's, and that's just me and that's just my wife too. Okay. Because, you know, I know what brings people in here and, uh, and I'm not afraid to say that either. Um, but you know, that's, uh, just kind of the thing. Um, but yeah, I am kind of thinking about something else, um, you know, to do for that. So it'll just kind of, it may not be an every week basis, but, uh, that's something I've thought of. So I'm going to consider that. Um, Andreas says, can you make a video about football gear for the 2020 season? Here's what I have planned for that. Um, that's, and that's a great question that I was going to talk about actually, uh, in this. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to do a video probably, it, it'll probably end up getting posted around maybe July, hopefully before August. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to compile all the football gear that I either have reviewed or it may be, I, I just think like I may be collecting the stuff sooner, posting the video later, but that's something that we're going to also, you guys are going to see the gear that I use, uh, the gear that I test and so forth. And so, uh, the, the one thing that we'll also do, um, with football gear is that I'm over this summer, I'm going to go through and update our top five gear videos for all the positions in football. And so we're going to do that, uh, at some point this summer. So that's going to be like your most update up to date information as far as like new 2020 football gear. Um, you know, I won't have, I may not have everything in hand. But, you know, we'll we'll do a good job uh, with that. Mir says, finally put up the Jordan sticker. That's awesome. Glad you guys are using that. Um, uh, Lean 
Lean With Life XD says, can you do a Sleefs gear review? You know, Sleefs is one that I really want to check out. Um, a close company to Sleefs would be Custom Sports Sleeves. They reached out to me first. Sleefs never really got to me. Um, so that's that's something that I'm considering. But um, personally, I like Custom Sports Sleeves better. But if Sleefs comes calling, you know, we'll, we'll check out their stuff. Um, GCTV, which I think is Greg Lewis from past live streams. It's good to have hey. you back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you review custom back plates? Cause I kind of want to get one, you know, there's a video that I never did, um, way back when, when I kind of started back as Mr. Football on this channel, I was going through the different tiers of, of different styles of back plates. And I never really got to the custom back plates that you can purchase. And the best example of that is the Douglas back plates. Not the ones you could buy in store, but the ones that you pretty much have to custom order on their website or find on their own. Um, a good example of that, let me show you one right quick. Uh, I wanted to show this um, because I, I was kind of interested in this item. Let me see if I can pull it up on my eBay because I, I like eBay's always got fun stuff on there. Um, I'm going to try not to... Where'd that go? It's not a back plate, but it's a butterfly restrictor. Uh, and they come in custom colors like uh, like this one. With uh, like, like normally you just see this as... Uh, normally you just get like kind of the standard colors, but that's actually a custom color. So that was something that I uh, was kind of looking at. Um, but, you know, like I said, like that's custom stuff. So that's uh, that's something we're eventually going to do a video on because I think it's worth talking about. Um, I haven't done a good backplate video in, in a while, and, and we've got some other stuff. Cliff says, can you do another backplate? Battle backplate giveaway. Um, I think we've got one pretty much on deck for this year, I would say. If everything goes right, whether we do it in in the summer or the fall, it's probably going to happen. Okay, um, I hope that I hope that helps y'all. Um, I do know sleeves for their cleat spats, but you know I've not ever. I've you know to be honest, I've only tried one style of cleat spats, um, and they were I don't know if I ever reviewed them on this channel. But they were like the, I think they were called like the Nike straight jackets, I think. Um, I don't remember that. Um, because I just found them not long ago. Um, and and I, I don't know. Dre says, let's see. I answered Cliff's question. Dre says, got any tips for the safety position? Uh, it's, it's, reading, it's reading your key. Um, you know, as far as that, from the coach's perspective at the safety position, whatever style of coverage you play, whether it's man, zone, match, whatever, um, ultimately you've got to be good with your eyes. Uh, you know, other, other skill sets help you in that regard, but for the most part, just to be, you know, an average to above average player and beyond that, you need to be able to read keys effectively. And that's something that, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to look at. Kelvin Kennedy says, are you going to review uh, Battle Turf Tape, I'm guessing? Um, you know, I'm not really sure. You know, I've seen it in stores, but I don't really know if that's something that's up my alley, to be honest. Um, you know, the, the assumption that I get from the turf tape is it's essentially just a sticky athletic tape. Um, kind of like a spat almost. So I, I don't know. Um that's that's kind of one of those things where like I like the product idea I just don't know if I'm gonna end up getting it your mic is buffering a little bit uh, it could be I could be shaking over here I don't know um, I, I just don't think the turf tape is something that I would enjoy but uh, you know that's 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 just me though I'm kind of uh, what what you guys will learn is like when you when you're in this for a long time you kind of get stuck on certain things, um, and uh, 
you just kind of go through and it, it's it's weird like i just kind of stick with some of the things i don't like to change my gear setup to be honest um you know i would say for at least the last two seasons i played in that flag football league i wore the same gloves the same sleeve i alternated between like you know like the little skull wrap that goes around i alternated between that sometimes but pretty much i stayed the same um and didn't want to change and to be honest like you know, I, I talk about, you know, reviewing new football gloves and stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, if I had to make a catch, I would trust my Grip Boost gloves that are in the washing machine in there and haven't been washed yet. Um, but, like, I've got some new gloves this year to kind of review and, and go through. Like, one of the things I've got on my list is talk about those new Grip Boost gloves. Um, you know, the, the turf doesn't – but we, we play on turf uh, as far as, like, you know, where I go and play. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I've never really had issues with it. I would say, um, I'd say that, you know, I, I get more into the, I don't know. It's, it's different though. Um, I would say, I mean, I've had like, as far as like playing this last year, some of my leggings that I wear, like the quarter, three quarter leggings, like they, they get like the little turf burn or whatever on there and kind of mess those up. And, and basically I think that was, I don't even know. Like I don't even really fall that much. I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, the turf monster is a, uh, is a good description of it though. All right. So let's talk about the giveaway here for a second. And, uh, and if you guys want to just hold off on questions just for a minute, I'll have another question section. Um, here in a little bit, but what, what I wanted to start with now, um, Nightbot's going to go in here and post uh, how, to, how to enter the giveaway. Uh, you've got to follow us on Twitter. Um, Instagram's okay, but we're not using Instagram tonight. We're using uh, Twitter, um, and so the pinned tweet on there is how you enter, and so what you're going to do is find that on Twitter. You will probably have to leave this video, so just jump back in here. Uh, I can tell that, you know, people are doing that because they're coming in and out of the live stream. Um, we have 17 people in here. That's great. I think at one point I saw it was at uh, 18. Maybe somebody else can verify those numbers. Um, I usually get to see the official numbers here at the end. Um, and from there, all you pretty much have to do is just say what your YouTube name is on Twitter or what your, excuse me, your YouTube name, you have to basically tweet that to us. So like if you're Chris DeGeneral, uh, you're going to put that, you know, in the, uh, in the tweet and then talk about what's your favorite mouth guard brand. Uh, we're giving away a shock doctor, um, max airflow lip guard tonight. Uh, kind of like what we do before last week, we gave away Nike bicep bands next week. I don't know what we're giving away. I really don't know. Um, it's kind of a week to week basis. Um, kind of just what I can get to. Um, I, you know, our giveaway items aren't very that, they're not really that elaborate right now because, uh, you know, of the quarantine, we're not really going out many places. Um, I kind of just have to pick up what I can. Uh, eventually we'll do some big giveaways. So I like to give away mouth guards. We're over here. You don't have to, nope. Why does she do this? <laughs> I, I can't believe she just stands there. She's a troll. She is a troll. I'm giving Daisy the goat. Just go ahead and get the goat quota in here tonight. If you all don't know, um, the goat button essentially is for trolls. Um, people that get banned. I don't think we've kicked anybody tonight. No. But we're going to go ahead and kick the cat. I hope to be that... honest, I was spending a really long time in the emoji section trying to like find a doctor emoji so that I could put lightning bolt and the doctor and have a shock doctor. I like that. But I can't find the doctor emoji. Could you just do like I don't know, I think like when I think of doctor, I think stethoscope. Somebody Can... needs to paste a doctor emoji for me. Oh, there's one. <gasps> Where? There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody needs to put those together. Oh man. The shock doctor. <laughs> That's awesome. 
The cat asking for attention. That's, well, right now, you can't see her, but she walked into the spare bathroom, and she just goes and lays down in there. I don't know why she does that. I mean, like, the funny thing is, like, you know, she, we pretty much put them to bed in the bathroom because otherwise they'll knock our stuff over. If They they can't be trusted in the house. They just can't. Um, but, yes, we're giving away Shock Doctor uh, product here tonight. I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, if you haven't seen it already, I'm sure you guys have seen the photo. Um, this one's freaking awesome because uh, I can't remember the exact design of this. Like, I can't remember the name. I might be able to pull the sticker up here and, and look at it officially. Um, I can't remember the name. We gave one of these away that was kind of similar, uh, I guess, a few weeks back. And so... Uh, you know, they're, they're neat. Uh, I can remember the, I think I remember some kids having them. They're funny. Um, Shock Doctor by far is my favorite brand. Uh, as far as like mouth guards go, they support the channel. They support us. They've given us some of these things. I bought this one. So, um, I like this one just for the color of the, uh, the yellow and blue. So obviously if your school color is not yellow and blue, Maybe it doesn't fit you, um, as in, like, you know, your color scheme, obviously. I know guys are kind of particular about that. Sometimes I try to do pretty much pretty much specific color, you know, pretty much neutral colors, your blacks, your whites, and that kind of always pretty much anybody can use. But this is a real unique one. Um, I don't, they don't make this style anymore, so in a way, it's going to be a little bit harder to find. This one just didn't sell very well. Uh, at my at my store, so I just went ahead and picked it up. It's a it's a classic. It's got that old Shock Doctor packaging, which uh, which I like. So, um, Tripper forty three asks, should I get a neck plate as a linebacker and a neck plate? What I usually refer to as is a a restrictor plate neck roll. Um, I like I like the Douglas restrictor restrictor plate by far. Like it's pretty much kind of the standard as far as like what I what I consider as a neck, you know, device to just put on your shoulder pads. We used to have one on the channel. Um, we don't right now. I think I ended up selling it on Sideline Swap, um, but that's something that we're gonna pick up again um, and do and do another video on. And so uh, we're gonna do that. So we've got. Some pretty good stuff uh, going on. Yeah, I just uh, it's it's a big it's uh, it's big time, you know. We're uh, we're ready. Um, how are we doing on the giveaway? Or how how are, is everybody that's in here pretty much there? I have liked everybody's uh, reply. I think we have quite a few people. Okay. Let's, uh, I'm going to pop over there real quick and check it out. There are 17 people in chat that I can see. Yep. So if they haven't signed up for the giveaway, they still have time. Yeah, we still have time. Uh, but so far, I mean, it, that seems, the numbers seem about right. Yeah, that's, I mean, I feel like we had that about last week. I'm, I was actually on the post from last week. Oops. Uh, something that we've been doing, um, something that we've been doing here lately We've been pretty active on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, we're posting photos on Instagram every day, um, at least for the foreseeable future. It's been a lot of fun uh, to do that. And so there should have been a photo posted, I guess about an hour ago, if I did it right. Um, and it's on there. So I do see 17 people in here. So everybody, you do have to be present to win. That is one of the, uh, you know, one of the things that uh, that we talk about. Uh, in here you just need to make sure uh basically if you if you were selected as the winner you basically have about a minute after if we call your name out loud you've got a minute on the clock to uh, essentially claim that prize uh in the chat uh as after we double check everything um i saw ricky's question here um ricky says should i use a neck pad for fullback Depending on, you know, 
what we look at here as far as fullback, you know, whether you whether you think of like a cowboy collar, the neck roll, um, th these are all things I want to you know talk about on the channel at some point because there's just not a lot of stuff um, out there on YouTube about that. I want to say that I'm one of very few that probably have posted some quality videos on it. Like if I, I mean, there's like I think Lyman, uh, what is it? Lyman football, I think he posted some stuff, some pretty good stuff like on uh, neck roll. So he's another good one to watch as far as that stuff. Um, let me double check on the uh, – I, I could be wrong, but uh, let me look up uh, the restrictor play as far as Douglas because I'm just uh, curious. Yep, my video's first. That's right. Um – 7,600 views. That's nice. And then, you know, Lyman football, he's got uh, neck restrictors for linemen. For fullbacks, it's pretty much going to be the same. Um, I mean, his video is good on it. And, uh, and there's some other stuff. Yeah, there's, there's really not much... Uh, else after that so i definitely think i need to be kind of the youtube department that's uh working on that um uh andreas says can you post some workouts um you know i've got at least plans to kind of work on like some drill videos i talk about it every time but like i'm starting to like today i just started kind of working on that as far as uh, that goes. Uh, GCTV says, last time I was in one of these live streams, I was in junior high, or I was a junior in high school, and now I'm about to be a college freshman. That's awesome. Um, he's been in here a long time. Uh, it just kind of goes to show everybody that's, you know, usually been in here for many years or popped in a lot. I mean, uh, I, think, I think Greg's won several giveaway items over the years just a good old member from the subscription squad Krista General says what kind of gloves where that question go I can't hardly see everything there it is what kind of gloves should running backs get um, you know I've done videos on this and personally for me it's like the number one running back glove in my opinion is the uh, Nike Super Bads, and and I think that just kind of comes from the, it just kind of feels like the standard glove. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, we will do. You know, there's not much highlights to be honest. I mean, what you guys see on, what you guys see in those flag football videos I do is pretty much everything. Like, I've got uncut versions of it that I saved for some reason, but like, um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I pretty much take my highlights that's on there. So like, I mean, that's essentially the highlights that we get, um, through that. We just, we didn't have as much this year. Um, and basically it's just because Amber wasn't there, but that's okay. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. You were, you were teaching school at the time. It was your first year. I get it. I've been doing the teaching thing a long time. So, no, I'm not calling out my wife here and on the live, in the live stream in front of the world. But, no. Uh, no, it was good, though. Um, but when, when she was actually present, we won. I just want to make that known. When you were present the very first game, we won. And then we didn't win another game the rest of the time. No, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Because the second week... Uh, you had to help the guy break after he broke his finger. You oh, took yeah. him to the so, so we ended. did lose. But it was after you left, it we lost. After you were winning when I was there. And That's the right. Broke his finger. That's right. <laughs> we were winning, and then, gosh. That's hilarious. Uh, we're doing great. Um... I Hey, I get it, you know. I was just happy that they started filming the games just for anything. Like, I, that made it much more easier for me to get it. Um, yeah, it was... Uh, 
she she really is the missing piece. I'm hoping that we get some more people. I've, I've, I'm I'm working on. I, I I just hope we get to have our flag football thing, and it's not impacted by the virus and stuff. Um. <laughs> what? Crazy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I have enough issues. <laughs> Emperor's going to be starting moral support. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, let's ask the magic dice something. This is on my brain. Um, let's, let me answer questions here. First, uh, Andreas Espinoza, any tips for freshman wide receiver? Uh, you know, it's like, I would say depending on, I, I say it comes down to two things. It's catching and blocking. Um, you've got to be good at both of those things. you got to be able to work both of those things. Um, like, that's what I'm just going to go ahead and say. You know, right now it's easy to work on catching Blocking, you obviously have to have someone to block, something to block. Um, I'm going to show a video, or I've got a video idea where, and I'll just go ahead and share this with you guys. You know, the the pads, like the shield pads that you would have, like, say, on your football team, um, like those, those ones that you sit there and hold or something, you know, shields, those are freaking expensive, okay? Like, we, we buy a lot of them. I would say in our football shed, like, at the high school, we've got probably 14 of them. Like, we could field a whole squad of those, and sometimes we do. Um, and they're great, but, like, they're expensive. Um, and they tear up over many years. But one thing that I thought of, and I got an idea from somebody else, was taking either pillows or taking, like, an old duffel bag and just stuffing it with pillows to make it padded to where, like, you could have somebody hold that duffel bag. Like, think of the duffel bag. It's got handles on it. And so, like, I'm going to show a video, um, you know, later on this summer of, like, working on, you know, like, blocks that you can work on at home just using, like, a duffel bag, a backpack, something like that. So that that's kind of something that, you know, I think of... Um, Ricky Banks, any tips for middle school football players? Uh, I would just be a, a sponge of just like what I mean by that is like you need to soak up all the football you can. Um, you know, you try to learn, like middle school football is learning. Like, and, and that's just personally in my opinion of middle school football. Um, I've coached at that level before. I, I really don't at this point. I mean, the youngest kids that I coach right now are eighth grade. Um but that's, you know, I've, I've coached younger in that level, but it's, it's still learning. Even for the eighth grade that I, that I coach, it's still learning uh, for them. And so that's, that's just what I would, um, what I'm thinking of. I, and, you know, most people have a duffel bag. Um, you know, most people have a duffel bag. Uh, pillows are cheap, uh, especially if you've got, like, old pillows. I know in a closet we have just old pillows we've just never thrown away. And so, like, that's something that, you know, I'm going to work on as far as, like, you know, doing that and just different things um, uh, with that. So, <clears throat> we've been live streaming for 33 minutes. Let's go a few more minutes and let's give something away. Um, and remember tonight, we're giving away the Shock Doctor Max Airflow Lip Guard. Um, I wanted to see what this name was called because I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave here today without knowing the official name of this. I don't know if I can still find this, but I'm gonna hop over to old Shock Doctor right now. Um, you know, speaking of funny things about Shock Doctor, um, I can remember Shock Doctor all the way back to when I was playing football back in uh, the seventh grade. I played when I first played football, like official. Tackle football was when I was in seventh grade, and that was the year, uh, the great year, 2004, 2003, 2004, whatever year that was, um, as far as, like, when I officially started. I don't know if it was that one, but um, I remember Shock Doctor and, and the, you know, early, pretty much, like, 
you know, they didn't have mouth guards like this. It was pretty much kind of like what you see in their basketball uh, mouth guards is kind of what you see. Um, this stuff really didn't really didn't get popular until about five years ago. Um, there have always been lip protector style mouth guards around, but um, Shock Doctor's been around for a while, um, and I always knew of them as being a more. Ex I, I to be honest, I never got a cus. I never got a not a custom mouth guard, but I never got a store bought mouth guard until I played college ball, um, and. I don't really know why I did it because I, I was given the five cent mouth guard when I got in college. Um, but I never used it. Um, I just, I went out and bought one uh, at TJ Maxx, ironically. Um, so that was, that was one of the things that I remember most uh, just about mouth guards and stuff. Um, I don't know if they still have that mouth guard, but I'm going to go back into the dungeon uh, that is their website and try to find that one. I don't remember the exact name of it. Um, and maybe somebody can, I just, just like, I can't remember if they were like cartoonish designs. Let's see. I'm going to do like a, Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know, another mouth guard that I'm I'm looking into uh, is the uh, trash talker. I kind of wish they would have sent that one, um, which I didn't request for it. But uh, now that I see the trash talk mouth guard, I kind of want it. Um, it. It's pretty cool. I just I can't remember that name of that. But anyway, what are we talking about? <laughs> Uh, I see stuff about smell, and then it's just like, oh boy. <laughs> you know, that's like, that's iconic. The smell of Axe in locker rooms is very iconic. And and what what you get in football is like, it's it's funny when football season's there because football stinks. Okay, um, you know you've got the smell just of the equipment that gets sweated on that stays that just lingers in that closed off locker room, and then like it it's always worse with you know players that are going to class after after football, and so you know there's just like a heavy dose of axe and or old spice body cologne just like it's just like you could if you had a lighter and struck the lighter it the place would go up in flames i mean like it's that bad you know what i mean you know it's like that in girl locker rooms too yeah except it's like perfume instead of like oh yeah packs, and you're just like hairsprays everywhere okay like, I'm, I'm gonna die on the <laughs> bus on the bus this year uh or no what well there's two instances where this happened okay um on the soccer bus, I, I'm driving the soccer bus, and uh, and I look back, and I think we're in a stoplight or something, and I look back, and like I, I see a girl just like put on like perfume, and she goes, duh, 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 and like that's it, and uh, and then not even like five seconds after she sprays it, it's all over the place, and everybody's just like, oh, you know, and it's like yeah. it's so strong, and and then. And you're in a small space. Yeah, and then in the classroom this year, I had I had an all-girl class. That all-girl class I had. This girl's in the far corner of the room. She's the farthest away from me. Sprays on the other, sprays on something, it's and it's like so it's immediate, there. Yeah. It's like I hit, it's, and I'm like at the farthest end of my room. I could smell it. It was crazy. That's funny that you um, had an all-girl and I had an all-boy class. I know like, it's hilarious, and I, I miss those classes. Like uh, I mean they. Did you see Carlos was in here? Who one, is Carlos? One of my students was in here. And he was like, hey. Is he a footballer? Uh, I don't know. I don't know? I don't know. I think he's a track kid. Track kid? Okay. I didn't know. Uh, that's funny, though. He 
might be on their team. I don't I don't know everybody's I, I don't yet. I don't either. Um I don't know a lot of the kids you have in class at all. There's twenty one people watching. Woo-hoo. What the crap? I think uh I think we're getting close to a uh, a giveaway. Yeah, I think it's about giveaway. Time. I, I think it's time. So uh, there's Nightbot, Nightbot, Nightbot. Um, is everybody ready? Guess everything. Um, to to know that you're entered tonight in the giveaway. Uh, first off, we're giving away a Shock Doctor uh, Max Airflow Lip Guard. Um, giving that away. A little older one. Uh, you can't currently find this one, so it's kind of a, you know, it's not like worth a bunch of money or something, but I mean, it's uh, it's a good find. Um, I, I didn't find any more like that, but uh, if you guys like these style of mouth guards, I'll keep that uh, in consideration. Um, like, if y'all like those, y'all kind of just have to tell me what you like. Like, I can be like, all right, first of all, we're not giving away shoulder pads and, and helmets, all right? I mean, that's just not going to happen. But, like, we can do, you know, other things like mouth guards, gloves, and stuff like that, little things. Gloves are hard uh, just based on the money you put into them. Um, you know, y'all really got to be bringing in some revenue for us to give away stuff like that all the time. Um, but what we're what I'm looking at here is, you know, if you... Um, it looks like we haven't had anybody uh, added here on here. But if you have received a a heart over there on Twitter, we are. Uh, I mean, we're pretty much ready to go. So if you will pick a random person, are we doing the reply tw- picker or the not the re- bot one? I did the reply to. Oh, that's good. Picker. Okay. All right, so uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, give this away. There's no mystery giveaways. This is all we have tonight, I swear. Okay, those of you, now quick update. Those of you that won secret giveaways last week, you know who you are. Um, Those haven't shipped yet, so they're all going to be shipped with this on Monday. Monday's Memorial Day, so it'll have to be Tuesday. Okay. Who all won last week? Um, I've got him in Twitter. Uh, that kid, Dyron won, which I haven't seen him oh, yeah, tonight. Oh, is he? Okay. Oh, yeah, so he's not here. He's not here. I'm well, not he was him. one, and then I think Krista General. Yeah. Yeah. Golden Games. I see him in here. Golden Games. I th- Golden Games won. The big, like the main giveaway. That one's already shipped. So, Golden Games. Or, uh, hold on. I had to, what do we get? Okay, we gave away bicep bands last week. Who won the bicep? So, Golden Games won bicep bands. Double checking, people. Yeah, I don't know where a paper went. I usually keep up with that. He says, Chris and Dyer won the mystery giveaway. Okay. And Golden Games won the Yeah, big okay. Y'all, see, y'all are better than me at this. Um, I just, you know, that one, that one shipped. Um, I can't remember what day I was, it's been, it was such a long week. I just wasn't, un, I just was unable to get there. So, you know, those, those other ones, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know what's about to happen. What's, what's, oh, good. I'm glad they, I'm glad they came in. I mean, you just don't ever get to be a part of the giveaway. Again. If we, if we have to ban you. Like, you don't get back in. Like, that's just the thing. Like, I mean, the, the punishment isn't a punishment like, oh, we're going to give you a spanking. It's just yeah. <laughs> you don't get to have fun with us anymore. Yeah. You don't get to be a part of our group. Yeah. I mean, that's up to you if you want to, like, not get to be a part of it. Oh, yeah, just to go ahead and take yourself out if you have to. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So, are we ready? To I, I'm ready. But you can just use another account. Ah, uh, you know, here's the thing. We're we, we we've had that before. We have multiple accounts that we check you on. So. We, you know, we we uh we keep our, you know, it'd be it'd be hard to like make multiple accounts like because we're about to give this thing away anyway. So here we go. Who do you got? I would like for you to guess who got it. Is it somebody like that always wins or it's, something? It's kind of funny because the chat was talking about it earlier. Okay, so somebody, so we've got a winner. They're in here right now? Yep. Well, okay, so say that again. They were actually joking about it earlier because of the colors. Uh, if you're a student and you want to be bad and show your butt, I mean, that's yeah. up to you. Yeah, go ahead. Like, well, uh, This is just something fun that we do for people. Okay. Um, it's funny they were talking about the color. I'm holding y'all over here. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna announce it. I'm gonna announce it. Uh, is it. Where is it? Is it Mir? Yeah. Okay, Mir's the winner. I can't believe it was Mir. That was just too funny because everyone was like, oh, he's gonna get it. Yeah. It, that's right. And he really. It, that was awesome. All right, well. That that works out. See that's see that's a great pick though. So that's that's awesome, and it's totally random. Like she uses a, uh, no, you know we don't. I mean everybody has a fair chance, but you know it's like uh, she has a random reply picker, and so basically it just goes down there and it picks the right one. So uh, that's awesome. So. Aw, Cliff, give it a chance. Mira's been around for a really long time. Yeah. We, uh, you know, we'll be, hey, all right, first of all, here's the thing. We'll be back next Saturday and or Sunday, depending on how busy we are. There will be, in the coming weeks, I, mean, I need to kind of double check while we're all here, um, check the calendar. What day are we going on vacation? Well, I don't want to say that out loud. Okay, yeah, you're right. We will be gone. Okay, so there's going to be, there's probably going to be a time and let's see, not we'll be able to do it next week, but probably the week after. Or I would say there might be a two week span where we don't, don't do a live stream, but we may do like there's probably not going to be a dedicated giveaway. I'll just say that. Um, like we'll still have videos and so forth, but like there's going to be a chance like we we're going to go on vacation. And so we may not be there for a week. So just, you know, that'd be what we do. Uh, you know, there's a, you know, I really don't know what we're doing, but we're, we're going somewhere. Like that's, that's the plan. Um, and, and that's what we're doing. And we're not telling y'all where we're going either because we don't need y'all showing up on vacation. <laughs> Yeah, we're not we're not doing it. Like, I don't want to just like have y'all just like show up and just be like, "Hey, Mr. Football." Like, no, uh, we're not doing that. Um, you know, I feel like we invite you guys into our home, you know, into our virtual world that is, you know, YouTube, and invite you guys into our home and and let you hang out in here. And like, if we don't like you in here, you know, we just go ahead and boot you. You know, and get the goat in here. Um, I found, okay, I found the little instruction booklet that went with the goat. And I would like to read that to you guys tonight. Um, as It's kind of like a, I guess, a bedtime story. Kind of like, uh, <laughs> you know, and so forth. Bedtime yeah, story. since it's getting closer, you know, to 9 o'clock in some places. You know, one day we'll have to do like a meetup. We will, one but one day that would be fun. It would. 
Anyone watch Demolition Ranch? Uh, it sounds like something I would watch. Uh, I like it. Well, I th hold on. Let me make sure that I'm... Where's YouTube? Is it like HGTV? Uh, no, it's not, actually. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> I think Demolition Ranch is like... Uh, it's like a, a gun channel, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, because I've seen... I feel like I've... Yeah. Uh, I've watched some of their stuff before. I don't... I don't watch a lot of it. But, like, I've seen, I seen some of their more popular videos that pop up over time. But I, I guess I don't uh, spend too much time on it. But... Yeah, I... See, like, I watch gun videos. But, like, I watch stuff about, like specific parts or stuff like that y'all are gonna get me on a whole other train because like i was already watching stuff uh before we got on here oh um we've got to we've got to read we've got to read you guys this book tonight um it's called screaming goats this is the uh this is the thing that came with the, have you ever seen this i don't know if i've ever we so the the story behind this goat is we were Christmas shopping, I think, or we were either we were either Christmas shopping or we were Christmas shopping. Okay, because we bought we something just else. Found it. We found it and we were like, "It's awesome." And uh, I ra I raised goats for a long time uh, as a kid. I don't do it now. Um. Okay, so basically it says, dare we assume how you ended up with this goat kit in your hands? Well, we bought it at a store. Uh, either you were in awe of the screaming goats phenomenon that has swept over this great nation, popularized by the good people of the internet. If you were one of the serious goat-loving aficionado in case, that latter, I suggest you take a second to Google screaming goats um, and, you know, just accept my apology. So... Uh, let's see. So, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, let's let's do this. So these are the ten reasons that you should use this goat. And we found. I mean, you guys could probably find this if you looked hard enough. Um, uh, the goat. Let's see. There is a goat quiz that I'll give you guys. Um, basically, there's ten reasons. I'm gonna add an eleventh one. First of all, one, it's too quiet. Your cat won't get off your computer. That does happen, but usually I throw him off. Uh, your mom won't get off your case. Not ever use that one. No food in the fridge. Never use that. Traffic. Uh, I do that. Uh, not, don't take the goat with me. Uh, long lines. It's Monday. The closest you've ever, ever come to owning a goat. I've had a goat, so. Um, goats are annoying. Um, they're, if you get into the business to like sell them and so forth, like the money's there, but like raising them and, and feeding them is not worth it. Um, work is annoying you. School is annoying you. Your friends are annoying you. Everyone's annoying you, or you just really want to scream. Number 11 is, uh, you use it, uh, on YouTube for your live stream, which it's not actually there. I just added that. Okay. Have you pressed it at all? I pressed it twice. Oh, you did? Yeah, I pressed it twice. Um, number one, why do goats scream? Here we go. This is multiple choice for y'all. Uh, so number one is why do goats scream? A, they're hungry. B, they miss their mom. <laughs> C, they're in distress. Or D, all of the above. Curious to hear what you guys say in the comments. Andrea says all of the above. This is quality YouTube content. Do you know that? I, you know, there's a lot of stuff we could be doing, you know, but this is what we have. Um, Andrea says all of the above, and we're going to go with that. Uh, and it's true. All of the above. So that, that's the answer right there. Okay? Uh, number two, what shape are goat's eyes? 
for the A, round, B, diamond, C, rectangular, or D, square. Here's your nice photo of a goat. If you don't, not ever seen a goat up close, look at their freaky eyes. You can't really see it that well. Yeah, right there. You can probably tell now. But, uh... <laughs> this is quality. Uh... Okay, uh, it's actually it's actually C rectangular. I think Mir had it right. So it's this is an interesting point about goat eyes. I didn't know this to be honest. It says in the animal kingdom, goats aren't exactly number one in the food chain, but there are a lot of other hungry animals that prey on them. We had we had like coyotes get after them and kill them. That was always hard. Um, but it says one of their great built-in survival mechanics is a goat has keen night vision, great depth, and peripheral vision, which, you know, helps with those rectangular eyes. So it says that they can scout surroundings from uh, 320 to 340 degrees in one glance. You know, we can only see, like, and that's basically like saying, like, how much to a degree they can see. Um, so, boop. Anyway, that's uh, there's there's a couple more quiz. There's actually a few more quizzes. I won't go over all these, um, but yeah, that's fun. If y'all have questions, uh, go ahead and post them now. We've got ten people in here. I'm I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that everybody is uh, you know, the ones that are in here are usually the people that uh, you know, fully stay, uh, and have been here for uh. Kind of the longevity of the of the live stream, so um, we're gonna take questions. Oh, yeah, the cats are patrolling around. Where's Butters? Is he around here? I don't know where he's at. I think he's just asleep. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away just for a second and turn off the air because the air is right. I'm, I'm getting cold, <laughs> so I'm gonna just leave y'all for a second. Let's see if we can get Daisy to come back. Come here. Where's Butters? Uh, I will. Oh, I spelled Daisy wrong. I don't even know how to spell my cat's name. Let's show them Butters. Where's Butters? At? Oh, is Butters locked in the room? He shouldn't be. Here, I'll only, uh. I see Daisy. She's hiding under the table. I don't know where Butters is. Butters is probably. Hiding. This is Daisy, and she meows oh, constantly. I heard, I heard it. And she wants attention all the time, and she loves to interrupt every single video possible. So, that's Daisy. So there was a video that I've recorded, um, and you're going to be able to hear Daisy because I couldn't <laughs> edit her out. I mean, I could have, but it was edited out. Is in an important spot. Uh, this is Butters. Look at the camera, buddy. Hey. He's See like, oh, there he is. They're like, why are you doing this? Why are you torturing us? Yeah, why are you torturing us? I feel like that looked like I was, like, tickling the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Butters is really pretty. He was, um... I mean, if you guys don't already know, we got Daisy from a shelter. Um, she was, like, with a bunch of dogs and stuff, and it was really bad. But Butters, he just showed up on our doorstep. He, I don't know if he was dropped or if his mom lives in the woods, but he just showed up on our doorstep, and he was, like, meowing. And he had such a big head, uh, but he was just, like, really underweight, and he had fleas, and so... Anyway, he was pure white. He was just like Siamese when we got him, but as he's gotten older, he's really brown. Definitely not up. Siamese. So he <laughs> yeah, just, he's he kind of looked it. Yeah. Okay. Come here, baby boy. Come here, chunky. Favorite Come TV boy. show. Um, you know we don't watch TV. Uh, we and that's maybe crazy to think, but like we don't actually pay for TV. Um, we use YouTube, we have Netflix, Hulu, yeah, Disney Hulu. Plus, um, stuff like that. So I've not really 
had TV, gosh, maybe five years now. Um, Toby says, I got a Siamese cat. Siamese cats are cool. I um, want a naked cat. I want a hairless, hairless cat. cat. I do. They're, they're weird. They're just so weird looking. They're weird. Fun. Weird. That's what they are. Um, so, yeah, I, I just, I don't, hey, we don't, we don't have TV and we just, like, we, we feel that having the internet is better for us and, and we already pay enough for internet. So, and, and pretty much internet uh, helps us uh, in a lot of ways for our, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. So, uh, ne the last Netflix series that I watched was, um, gosh, what was it? You never watch anything. I'm the one that binge watches. Well, I mean, I the last thing that I watched was, With I guess, me? well, or just by yourself, by myself. I think was like, um, what was it? Um, it's that Last Chance You. Yeah, I watched that. Like two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> like the last time you watched something? Yeah, I mean, well, I watched that anime show that you watched like two weeks ago. Call me out, man. What? Yeah, okay, so I was watching this show called Cells in Action you... on Netflix. It was so good. Uh, it was kind of weird. Well, you, you brought me in because it was like about cells and stuff, and, and yeah. you're like, is this real? Because like, I teach anatomy, and... Uh, and I was just like, yeah, those are real things. And so I was like, um, I don't know. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I really don't like watch anything. Um, I watch certain people on YouTube and that's like TV for me. Um, so I don't know. We're, uh, we're different. Just, just so you know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's up. Um, I've got both cats hunkered down in here. Well, um, I know somebody had talked earlier about, you know, doing like just regular talking ones. Cause I know a lot of you guys enjoy that. And I think a lot of you that are in here right now are kind of the ones that, uh, do this, but, um, we, uh, we kind of go through and we can look at doing something like that. Like if we, if we decide like we're, uh, if we want to do something like spontaneous or something, like we'll let you guys know ahead of time on, um, either on like Instagram or uh, discord, most likely discord. Um, and let's see, favorite comedy actor. I don't know. I mean, when I think, when I think comedy, like, first of all, I, I like, uh, I like Will Ferrell movies. I mean, I mean, I, that's who I think of first and like, those are things I, I watch. So, um, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I've got some plans to do some videos. Butters is running, isn't he? He just, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm like, I'm got like the video that I'm watching up here is like on probably like a five second delay. And so like everything I see is kind of just like, I just saw, I was just looking up here, I was reading comments and then, bam, it just runs. <laughs> um, I've got some videos that I've got planned to do. I was going to kind of go over some with you guys. I'm not going to spoil all of these. Um, I've got an unboxing from uh, Green Gridiron that I'm going to do. It's over some... Um, it's actually right down here. I've not opened it. I've had it a week and haven't opened it, but I've not done the video, so that's something I need to do. Um, I don't even know what they... It's just... Uh, it's just like... They um, sent you air. They just sent me air. You yeah. It. Yeah. I paid $20 for air. <laughs> that would be terrible. No, they're... Uh, they're visor clips for uh, visors. Uh, they're, they're custom ones is what they are. Um, they're the NFL edition ones, like the, um, like ones you'll see college teams use. Like they're not like the normal colors. Uh, this is, it's actually white and black just so y'all know. Um, so that's, so that's good. Um, what are some other things like, uh, so for those of you, I, I know we had, uh, I know we had some stuff 
earlier I was talking about with the giveaway. Like we have no more giveaways to do tonight. Uh, you know, we just we gave away uh, this mouth guard earlier to Mir. So Mir was the winner tonight. So sorry if you guys missed out on the uh, giveaway. But what we're going, what I'm going to tell you now is, is that we're going to have a YouTube uh, giveaway just on a regular video, uh, and that's going to be posted on Tuesday. And so you'll have a week to enter that giveaway uh, for whatever that product is. Um, not going to give that uh, secret away right now. But you guys will see on Tuesday. Videos are going to start posting now around 6 p.m. So we're going to post them later in the day. And um, and so that's that's kind of where we're going for that. Just because I think more people are able to watch the videos at night, I would say. Um, I was going for 9 a.m. But uh, that's, that's kind of where I'm going at with right now. Um, Jerome Baker, do you play ball? Uh, I coach ball. Uh, that's what I do now. Uh, I've been coaching ball for seven years. Uh, that's the best way to put it right now. Um, and, and that's kind of where we're at as far as that goes. Um, but we, uh, something I was going to say, well, I was going to talk about, uh, in a, in a future video, I was going to talk about, uh, college football talk about the different levels of college football, more of a informational type video. Um, just kind of, and it's my opinion, but um, we're going to kind of do a video on, you know, the different levels and different divisions, classifications of, of you know, college football, your division one, uh, your FCS level, division one, um, obviously your division two, division three, uh, pretty much everything that's, uh, NCAA affiliated. Um, I was going to kind of go through that um, while I do that, and um, y'all, we all are all over the place in chat. I feel like I'm talking to myself, and y'all are just like <laughs> y'all are all over the place. Just me, Chris. Uh, okay, well, that's funny. Carlos says, "Hey, you caught all likes. You got 19 likes on this." Hey, I I know it's awesome. Um, you know that just kind of goes to show that. That's probably, you know, how many people we had in here at the, uh, you know, at the at the peak. I would say we had 20, uh, if I was to guess. I don't know if I can, uh, I might be able to look ahead here. And uh, I think I can look at analytics here. I think, uh, yeah, let's close that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I've got a comment on a video here I was going to go through. Oh, this is... Okay, this has got to be totally a... Lachelle Wilcox says, Has anyone used the... I can't even say this word. Episoctrin system? To increase your soccer skills? Just simply do a Google search on there. You'll find great tips about how to exactly increase your soccer skill. What does that have to do with football? That's on my one of my most viewed videos of all time, the top five things running backs need. Um, uh, I'm going to dislike that comment because I don't feel like it's relevant. But okay. If someone needs soccer... Like spam. It does seem like spam. Why didn't that... I still understand why the spam bot didn't catch that. Chris would like to know favorite sports team for all sports. Uh, you know, for like pro, I don't really have. I like pl watching players, so I feel like I'm a bigger fan of players rather than fans, or excuse me, uh, rather than being a fan of a team. Um, you know, like. I don't know, like, I then like the next question off of that is like, who are your favorite players or whatever? Well, you know, let me let me continue. Um, as far as like college, you know, I've grown up in Arkansas, and so like, you know, you grow up to like the Razorbacks, and so like that's just you know what we do. So, um, you know, that's obviously as far as sports goes. Like, you know, I follow them uh, for the most part. Um, but pretty much after that, you know, I don't really watch a whole lot of pro sports. Like, it goes back to the TV thing. Like, 
the I mean, we watched the Super Bowl, but you know, I had luckily I had a uh, you know NFL Game Pass, and I had NFL Game Pass for free actually this year, and uh, and used that, but you know, really didn't use it, which I know might seem crazy, and y'all could have been like, why didn't you just give me that? But um, look, okay, it's cool, whatever, um, you know. We got past that. I still have it. I mean, I guess I could still use it for coaching tape and stuff. But um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of where we're at uh, as far as that goes. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I haven't looked in here in a while. Uh, it seems like we're having a lot of fun in here. Nine people still watching. That's awesome. Um, anyway. Um, So what else was I going to talk about? Um, I think I talked about football videos that I'm working on. Like we're going to do like an offensive line steps video. Uh, that's like one that we're going to do um, and do that. Football gear 2020 we've talked about as a, as a, as a later thing. Um, and, th and there's some other things that I'm uh, looking at doing as far as that. Um, we had some great video ideas back um, back several weeks ago. Um, and so, like, I'm kind of slowly going through the list of things. And, like, if you guys have, like, video ideas, um, you know, you guys are always welcome to, you know, comment those. They, they can be considered. Uh, it just kind of depends, like, when we get to some of that stuff because I've already got, like, an entire list here of stuff. So, uh Hopefully that that works, but um, but anyway, um, it really depends. Uh, as far as next week, I know Amber just posted in there. As far as next week's um, stream, we went ahead and went for tonight. We were not busy all day, surprisingly, um, and so that was good. We didn't really have any interruptions today. But um, I know, like, usually some think something on the weekend usually keeps us from. Uh, Sound like somebody's eating food. I think he just. I think he was making noise that the bird but I thought he was like choking. Oh. So I went to go check on him. I think he's just upset over the bird at the window. Oh. Um. So yeah, we're uh, we're looking at. It depends. Like I. I you know, I, I just encourage you guys to get like the best, like, I guess like the most information that we give out is probably on Discord. So, uh, you know, Discord kind of gives us the, uh, you know, ability to... Where are you at, Chris? Where are you at with your Discord link? <laughs> um, Arkansas needs to work on their recruiting. Um... Yeah, it's it's hard. Um, it's hard to get. It's hard to get players to come to Arkansas. Like it's hard to get big time players to come to Arkansas because of just pretty much like it feels like as far as like and this is just me from my perspective. You know, Arkansas is about five years behind everybody else, if not more, as far as like facility updates and stuff. But you know. The crazy thing is, is like, um, I remember when they expanded, like they made a new, um, basically like when they expanded their, they basically made a new field house, uh, a new, you know, facility basically, um, and a new practice facility and so forth. And it's great. You know, I go there once a year to, uh, you know, either, well, we didn't get to go this year, but like we get to like sit in, we get to sit in the meetings and so forth. Like, um, I should have logged this a long time ago, but I was like, I got to go in the linebacker meeting room, um, and just sit like, I literally watched film by myself in the linebacker meeting room there at Arkansas. Uh, and probably for three hours sat there while, while she went and took a test there at the, at the college. Um, I sat in there and watched film for like three hours. It was great. Um, and so, you know, as far as like recruiting goes, it's it's hard for for Arkansas, and and I feel bad, you know, because it's just like, um, 
you know, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, what What's funny is like I actually met uh, Sam Pittman uh, back, I guess it was three months ago. Uh, me and our, our head coach were eating um, over there. Um, you know, in, in Fayetteville where, you know, where the university is and, uh, we're sitting there eating and, uh, Sam Pittman comes up, um, and, and introduces himself. And, and we had our, like, uh, our head coach already had acquainted with him, uh, back several weeks ago. And, you know, Sam Pittman's awesome. They, I mean, he's like kind of one of those, like there was a lot of, uh, picks and so forth that was going to be our head coach and so forth. Like it went from everybody to like Lane Kiffin to Mike Leach down to a few other people. Um, and, and like, that was a huge one. Um, so, you know, it, it was cool to see Sam Pittman come back. Um, but that, that's, that's crazy. Um, yeah, it's, uh, that, that's kind of the thing. Like Arkansas back 10 years ago, had like offensive weapons and and people wanted to come like for I would say for a, a three to four year span we were getting decent talent but like when we had when we had you know Bobby Petrino we weren't getting defensive talent like it was crazy and you know we were rotating defensive coordinators like every every year and so um, and I can just say from knowing insights to that program um, it was never set up for the defensive side of the ball. It just wasn't. And so that's really unfortunate because I'm a defensive guy. Um, so like, it's, it's just not, uh, it's different. <laughs> Do you think a great high school player could play D2 or D3, just a freshman, but want to play in the future? Yeah. Um, like here's the thing. If, if you're the best player on your high school team, or one of the best players, like there's no reason you can't go play Division Two, Division Three, and so this is something that I'm going to talk about in in a later video, um, and it's actually we were talking about it earlier. Um, so <laughs> the thing is, is uh, you know, and I like Levi's question because like truly, D like Division Two football. D2 football is pretty much made up of all guys that were just like the best player at their high school. Um, and like that, like that's an entire team of guys. And that's, it's, it's a little different. I mean, when I played at D2 at the D2 level, like we had guys come in, um, we had guys come in at, that had been kicked out at division one school. So we had division one talent on our team. They just been kicked out for various reasons. Like we had a guy from old miss, a defensive lineman, uh, you know, come to, come to where I was at and play. And so it, it happens. Um, you know, eight man really doesn't matter. Uh, if you play eight man, I, it truly doesn't matter. 11 man is obviously different, but I feel like the game of eight man is still close enough to, um, to 11 man football as it can be. So, um, like that's that's kind of what I think personally. I you know, there there's there's. I, let me just excuse me. I've been talking so much, my voice is starting to go. It's because you're not teaching anymore. No, I've not. No, so I've not. That's the thing. I've not taught in freaking what three months now. I, I can't even remember the last thing I taught. To be honest, like I feel like we were. I don't even remember the last thing we did. It's something with plants. I don't know. Uh, but no, eight man football doesn't matter. Um, you can still get, you know, offers. You can still walk on and stuff like that. Um, so that's, that's kind of the thing. Yeah. Um, a school that I used to coach at now went to eight man. Uh, it's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're actually, you know, losing players, uh, had to go eight man. Uh, it happens though. Um, you know, and, and in some areas of the world, eight man football, nine man football is kind of a common thing. 
it's just now started to kind of get popular here. Um, that's weird on the notification thing. Mine does that. It'll only tell me like 30 minutes into the live stream. That's crazy. Like, did you get a notification this for this? I didn't get anything. You didn't get anything and for I, this? I'm, I know that you're I subscribed. Have bells, I know that you, I know that. Um, Carlos's question, what's the best exercise to be fit for football? You know, the question about, you know, getting in football shape as far as like that goes, it's going to be hard this year for everybody because, I mean, pretty much everything right now is on your own. I mean, you know, technically as coaches, we can't really give you anything um, at all uh, based on this. And so, you know, I don't really know. Um, there, there's a lot of things like I'm going to post some stuff, um, you know, on some exercises later on, not, not really today or anything, but like there'll be videos in the summer kind of geared towards that a little bit. So, you know, that's just kind of where I'm kind of looking at from that standpoint. Um, but as far as like exercises that get you in shape, I mean, you need to be able to, uh, I mean, you know, very short burst type movements, you know, you don't need to go run a mile. You don't need to go run two miles. You don't need to just like do long distance stuff. It needs to be very short speed based things. Like even if it's just like, even if you don't have a lot of space, like if you have like even a small yard, like you could just, you know, do sprints in the yard. And so that's, uh, that's just kind of some things that people can do. Um, but anyway, and I think all those things are good, uh, what you just said. So that's that's good stuff. Get that kid Dyron's in here. Good to see him in here. Um, yeah, Dyron had, you know, we were saying we yeah, were surprised he wasn't here. I did see that. So it was the notification. Yeah. You know, I we wonder if, you, Dyron. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's why some people come in here extremely late after we've. I think so. And I think they're he just doesn't tell them. That's crazy. Which I think we will be helping that situation by always having it at seven now. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> We're gonna try to keep that up. Yeah, seems to be working okay. Um, but you know, I, I feel bad when people like you know miss the stream or whatever. Like you know who somebody we haven't seen all night. Anthony. Yeah. Which, he may be working yeah. on a Saturday, but yeah, he's usually around. Yeah, he usually comes in late anyway. I feel like we've done the last few. Durin, sorry. <laughs> oh, is it Durin? Sorry. Man, your chat is so much faster than me. That's like Zelda, if they're you know, nerds. They have a hearty Durin <laughs> on there. That's true. I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, man. Um, okay, so... Nope. <laughs> um, I got a comment earlier on YouTube today. I'm going to read this out. So, I did, I did a video way back in the day on your, your little brother... Is Snapchatting me. He like, misses you, man. I know, but the quarantine is getting us. What did he say? He said, uh, "Thinking of you." Here, look at this. Oh, is that from my? Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's your mom that's sending him, but he's on there. Um, I love that kid. So, um, once <laughs> I got a comment today, maybe I can find it on here. Um, I was going to read it from my email, but um, I got a comment today that I think... I'm going to read off some comments, maybe make fun of some people. I don't know. Um, not really make fun of people, but you know what I mean. It's like... Um, That's crazy. Carlos will be in eighth grade. I was just thinking about that. A lot of the people in chat right now are... I think everybody's eighth young? grade or older. Yeah. I think. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if you guys get this, but like, all right, so 
back many years ago. I don't know how this this video is probably eight years old to be honest. Um, I've been getting a lot of really like just in the last few days. I had a lot of comments pop up on um, like some older videos. I mean, like we're talking like nine, ten years old comments, which I just feel like those just don't get it. So someone commented, so you're telling, this is a video on basically me explaining the difference between, and this is back when I did Under Armour videos, way back when, Under Armour heat gear, Under Armour cold gear, because like basically I was responding to like people that would, uh, you know, ask questions and stuff. I don't even know if I got questions at that point. Maybe I just did the video uh, to be informative. That's probably what I did. But they wrote, uh, so you're telling me you can't see where there could be some confusion being that heat gear could be easily mean gear that is warm. Uh, I don't know, like that, that guy was, this guy was kind of a jerk. So I'm actually going to reply back to him and be a jerk back. Don't do this. <laughs> I know like we, listen, if you're going to do like, if people are going to comment crap like that, like, I, I mean, like, I'm going to dish it back. So, I, you know, I, I stick up for myself. So, uh, that that's the plan. So, anyway, that's... It's crazy. Some of my old videos... Like, these videos have been on YouTube for 10 years. Other than, you know, being up here December. Like, here's a video that had 4,000 4, views. Which, you know, a lot of my videos that posted last week they don't get that you know it's just uh it's not how it works but uh there was a video that had four thousand which i guess over time that's that's good but where was that video you can really oh, berserker just showed up too that's crazy it's kind of frustrating because, because like, we shouldn't have to, I don't know, that's, that's wild. I, I just, like, everybody, I mean, everybody knows when the video, uh, you know, goes up. I mean, like, it's, it's always 7 p.m. Central Time. If you live on the East Coast, it's one hour ahead, so you just gotta know when it's 8 o'clock where you're at, we go live. If you live in the Western Time Zone, or Mountain Time, it's an hour back. Um, and then if you're on the West Coast, it's two hours. Um, and if you live in Alaska, because my friend Gary was on several weeks ago, it was like five o'clock when he was on. So, I mean, that's in a whole other time zone. Yeah, and just to clarify, so Berserker doesn't think we're like yeah. talking about him. We were talking earlier that YouTube isn't notifying people. Yeah. So, we're going to try to have them at seven on Saturday or Sunday. That way, if you're 7 p.m. Central... So if YouTube doesn't notify you like it's been doing, um, you'll be able to do it. Hopefully yep. know that you can check and be like, oh, are they on? Yep, that's right. So that's kind of the um, that's kind of the main thing uh, we're we're kind of going for as far as looking at there. But you know, all right. Man, I'm like in I'm in the depths of my YouTube channel right now. I just want that known. Um, it's uh, it's actually very enjoyable. I'm going through looking at really old stuff. And uh, what I want to know is if Tripper, if it's Tripper or Triper. Yeah, that's what I that's I was about to say that. I, I was curious. Uh, Berserker, we normally put it on the Instagram story. Um, we may have forgotten today. That's our bad. I will try to make sure that we always put it on uh, the story for you guys. That's not her bad. That's my bad. <laughs> that's my bad. You know, it's, uh, it is what it is. Okay? So, I apologize. Um... Ba, 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 ba. Triper. Triper. Okay. Good to know. I would say the best... 
Mm, let's see. I, have I missed anything? Um, what was I going to say? I've already lost my train of thought. Um, on the chat. Chat? Chat? If that is a person from Discord, I don't know if it's the same person. You're still banned from Discord if that is the same person. I don't know. If it's not the same person, and this is just because I timed you out earlier for yeah. saying he was a bot, uh, that's just because I thought that was annoying. Yeah. Uh, so you're not banned yet, but don't do it anymore. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we... Uh, I ended up banning somebody because here's the thing. On uh, Discord, like... I I don't think I've ever had a problem with anybody on Discord, but there were some issues today, so I'm just gonna address those now. Like, um, you know, every rule that applies is. Uh... Can you please press the go, please? Oh, okay. Can we press the go? Yeah. Let's see. Good. Unsubscribe. I you know, that's fine with me. What does unsubscribing do? I'll, I'll get 10 more tonight. Like, that's the thing. You know? I'm sorry. It's just, you know. It's not even about that. No, it's I'm not. Just, you know, it's, it's just annoying. That's the time we've had someone yeah. who's like, well, I'm gonna do this. Well, yeah. go ahead. We do yeah, go ahead. People that are nice and we do it as a nice thing. The goat speaks. Yes. Let me put Discord on there for you, Carlos. It is a great place that you'd be able to talk to a lot of other people that aren't on the live stream. Yeah, because um, I'm not a... Uh, I'll say this, like, I, th there are guys that are in here right now in the chat that are on uh, that are on the Discord that probably talk more than I do, uh, but it's just a good forum for everybody. So, it's a good place. Um, somebody got in there today when we first started, so that was good. So, anyway... Yeah, we're uh, we're not, you know, that's the thing. I'm not I'm not begging for subscribers. I'm really not. I think I've I don't think I've ever really done that. Maybe a, maybe like the real beginning of YouTube, but like I just don't believe in begging for subscribers. Like I'll I'll tell like at the end of my videos to subscribe, but like if you want to subscribe to the channel, like I expect you to like either the reason that people would the people should subscribe to me. I post videos all about football. Like that's all we do. And so like people like football. And so like we're a football YouTube channel. And so like we just kind of go through uh, and go through and, and you know, I've been on here for 10 years now and we really haven't had as great of success as we could have had. You know, I took a year off essentially at one point. So I feel like that that hurt me a little bit taking a year off, but I was able to bounce back pretty well because there was clearly a time where my videos changed and I think a lot of people can see, you know, how videos changed once I became Mr. Football officially. Um, uh, and so it's, uh, it's kind of one of those things where we've now, you know, we're almost like this football season will su surpass, um, you know, 10,000 subscribers, which will be a big deal. Um, it's awesome. I mean, I mean, like I'm, I think, um, 9,500, something like that subscriber. I mean, we're, we're, we're essentially about 400 subscribers away from, uh, from, from hitting the, the big, from hitting it big time, you know? I think, but like back to the original thing, like oh, right. this has always been like a community. Like we, like we enjoy talking to everyone. Oh yeah, like, it's just fun. It's almost like a little like get together. It is, and and that's the thing. Like some people, um, some people go through and you know, like they have different motives for why they create a YouTube channel. You know, it was never for me. It's never been about making money or anything like that. Um, like it wasn't about really making a business out of this thing, even though like that's something I think eventually this will turn to. Um, but you know, ultimately this is a community. And so like, we're not like other YouTubers in a lot of ways. 
um, even other football YouTubers that you see. Like we're like we just do something different here. Um, and I think that people that truly are people that are truly fans of Mr. Football, the cat comes in while I'm on my soapbox. Um, you know, people come in, you know, to watch my videos, uh, and, and people that watch our live streams, essentially the people that watch them, I think the people that watch the live streams, the live streams are obviously the best part of our whole channel. I mean, the, that's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, you know, there is some, uh, some other things. It's Tanner's on here. It says, do you think football season will get pushed back? Um, you know, I think there's a chance it could. It just, I, I'm very unforsure right now as far as what's going to happen. Um, Mr. Football, for your thumbnails, you should get a picture of what you're reviewing. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, of just like, I, I'm not, I mean, okay, I've clickbaited you a few times. Um, I probably clickbaited people on, on this video. Um, thumbnails are big. I mean, thumbnails are what ultimately bring people to videos. And so like, that's something I try to work on, but I'm just not very good at it. Um, I'm not sure about, you know, when we do uh, 10,000 subs, like it'll be something crazy. Uh, like that's a big deal. Um very far off of like a hundred K or something like that. But, uh, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of what we used to do at least. But I hope to get like, uh, I think the last big celebration we had was 5,000. And so I can't remember the last time we had, uh, I mean, I, I guess I could go back and look, but, um, you know, that was a long time ago, but, uh, yeah, we've, we've surpassed, uh, quite, Quite a bit here. I wanted to look at analytics here and see some things. Let's see. Last. Let's see. Let's look at the last year. In the last year, I gained two thousand uh, three hundred subscribers. Like that's that's kind of where we were at. Um, you want to show um, the giveaway item to the chat real quick? Right there. Tanner was wondering what we gave away. That is what we gave away tonight. So, giveaway has ended. Um, so, sorry about that. Was that the cat? <laughs> She's sitting beside Oh. Me. Yeah, okay. so we gave away this. That's what we, uh, what we did. Shock doctor, mouth guard. Um, you know... That's that. That's where we've been. So, um, yeah. Okay. Um, do you have anything else you need to say, Amber? Are you good? I had a great time. It was fun. It was fun. It. it was so fun seeing people like, you know, in real life in the chat as well. One as dislike. Life. All right. <laughs> we have one dislike. Yes. I love dislikes. Man. That's engagement. That's engagement when people dislike it. <laughs> 20 to 1. I don't know who that was. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, dear. Hey, I'm not afraid. I'm just... Hey. Look. Uh, if you're going to show your butt, I'm going to show mine. Okay? So that's just... That's just what I do. I mean, people can say what they want, but, like, look... You're not going to do things. You're not going to post negative stuff in here. We have moder a moderator and a goat moderator. Um. <laughs> All right. There's the goat. Goat. Goat's out. We're going to have to... Uh... Hang on. You probably already did it. I did. I could. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a good time to go ahead and get out of here. So, you know. I do have to say, that that seems to happen. Yes. Whenever people from, you know. Yeah. In real life come on for some reason. They think it's, like, really exciting to, like, 
curse or do bad things. Yeah, so, so whatever. We'll just uh, take it for what it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and get off here. I don't want to make it awkward, but, you know, it is what it is. It was nobody that you guys have ever seen before. It was someone that was in the chat just today. Yep. So, probably a student, unfortunately. That's fine. I don't care. <laughs> no, I, the chat is such a good place to be. Like, oh, no, it's... I love everybody in it. Yeah, no, it's a good place. Uh, it really is. And, and uh, we had to... Basically, many years ago, when we did, like, some big, big giveaways, we really had to get somebody else in here to uh, help me because I, I couldn't do it all. So, um, you know, essentially, you know, Amber became my moderator um, and now is officially, you know, kind of... I can't even look at my chat anymore. You're probably just burning it up, aren't you? Yes. I had to update my video here. There it is. Post giveaway streams are amazing. Hey, I I think um, I think you know we'll try to do like a get together sometime, like where we uh, you know just have a live stream for chat. It won't be uh, you know just for like questions and answering stuff like that. Um, kind of just like off topic things. We could probably even make it, um, we'd probably even make it unlisted if we really wanted to. I could send it to whoever might even just do like a discord only one. Um, I could do something like that. So it pays to, I don't mean it pays, but, uh, it's, it's worth it to be in discord. Um, for those of you that jump into discord. Um, so that's what, uh, we're going to do, um, at some point. So, Y'all just remind me about that stuff I talked about because I can, uh, you know, go through and uh, I'll, I'll try to, you know, I'm going to have to do some videos at some point and do that. But, um, okay. Are we all good here? I just want to thank you guys um, for being in here tonight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get, basically leave the stream. I know we have a lot of fun on here, but I know we've got some other things we need to do. Um, you know, we've been on here for... Uh, at least, you know, well over an hour, going on an hour and a half. So um, we appreciate everything uh, that you guys do um, as far as being in here. There's eight people watching right now, which is awesome. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for being in here as well. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and log off here. Um, if y'all want to continue the chat, um, you know, you're welcome to come into Discord and jump in there on Discord and continue what we're talking about. We've got, you know, things to talk about in there. I'll still be around my uh, phone here for, you know, a little bit. And uh, we'll just, you know, start doing through some other things. So, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Mr. Football. And I'm out of here. And that's Amber over there. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to turn it off, y'all. Just one second here. <laughs> Goodbye.